Courage Barbro, your host, Chad Ikes. I just finished up a dynamic squat deadlift session. And if you people follow my Instagram, which you should follow my Instagram, it's Chad Ikes. I posted a video just recently by uh, Kabuki Strength Labs where Chris Duffin and Cass went over bracing. And it's an amazing video. I reposted it to my Instagram. So go to my Instagram and check that video out or go to Kabuki Strength. I think it's, I can't remember their Instagram. I think it's Kabuki Strength. Um, I'll try to attach those in when I repost this to Instagram. Um, but Kabuki Strength Labs is an amazing place. It was started by Rudy Caleb and Chris Duffin, who are both great guys, really smart guys. And um, I'm basically, I mean, I'm an accomplished lifter. I've been one of the best in the world. I, I've broken world records. I've won titles. Um, but I'm still always searching for more knowledge in strength. And these are the kind of people I go to. I mean, you know, Chris is just brilliant. You got Cass, who's very smart, helped me out with some BFR stuff. Um, Kyle, Brandon, the other Brandon, like just so many great intelligent guys. I love going out there and spending time with them. I highly recommend you go to uh, kabukistrength.com, check out their stuff. They have a, uh, a great channel. They do coaching, they have great implements, just, just all around great, great company, great people. But there was one thing I felt like they could have continued to go over in the video. <clears throat> um, and that kind of has to do with when you're lifting. They went over how to brace and they went over how to check to make sure you're bracing correctly and then how to cue to make that brace better. But one of the things that they didn't talk to, and it's, it's just something I see all the time lifters do, is they brace and then they suck in and tighten up, which defeats the purpose of bracing. You know, bracing is about pushing out and expanding. So what I'm talking about here is when I brace, okay, I'm not tightening up, I'm not trying to tighten my abs, I'm not trying to tighten my obliques. I'm actually taking my diaphragm and pushing it down into my pelvic floor. Uh, and there's a lot more to it. There's, there's stacking the spine, there's the neutral back, there's a lot to it. And I'll, I've put out plenty of bracing videos. I'll be putting out even more because of how important it is. But for right now, what I want to talk about is what you're going to do right before you do the lift. Okay, so the brace is, it's expanding and you'll have this big round, round part where you're expanding the obliques are expanding, the rectus abdominis is expanding, even in the back, you can feel where I'm pushing out 360 degrees. So when I set up for a lift, so let's say we're setting up for a squat right here, I'm gonna get up, I brace to pick it up, walk the bar back, and that's when I re relax my brace to get another one once I'm set and solid. So before I lift, I'm gonna go, Okay, so I'm expanding and say it's a heavy lift, I'm wearing my belt. I'm trying to stretch, I'm literally trying to stretch my belt out. Um, I have a lever belt. When I get done, I want those holes to be oval from me pushing against that belt so hard. I actually, at times, I'll, stop, I'll train without my belt for months at a time sometimes. And the first time I put that belt back on and I go heavy, I'm literally sore the next day right where that belt was from pushing so hard against it. And now what I see too many lifters do is I see them get set up and they go, and I'm like, all right, good brace. And all of a sudden they go, and they squat. The brace is about building pressure. It's about building inner abdominal pressure, IAP. If you push out and then suck in and tighten it up, you no longer have that IAP. You no longer have that tension. So it's not, you're not tensing the muscles so much as continuing to push them out. Like, I know bracing and breathing are two separate things, but breathing into your belly 
for me is how I teach for initially teach people how to brace because I think it's easier. And I do it most of the time just because I think it's easier to go. <sighs> but I can actually go and push out without actually sucking in any air. And that's what I'm doing. So right before I go, it's not <sighs> and then tighten it back in. It's <sighs> and I'm gonna push it out. And as I'm squatting down, I'm gonna drop, like as I'm coming down, I'm trying to drop and ex keep expanding this 360 degrees, I'm expanding against that belt. So when I do come down, my, this, this belly that's sticking out is, is I'm actually dropping it almost in between my legs. Okay, so that's the biggest difference. That's the one thing I think they kind of left out of that video is you don't expand and then tighten. Okay, especially if you're here, if you're here and you go, <sighs> like see how much just pulled in? Now I don't have that pressure against my belt. That it was the idea of creating this 360 degrees of pressure that strengthens this weak portion of our body and locks our core, locks our chest into our hips. Okay. So just remember that. And I want to say another thing about belts. I'm, I don't believe you should wear a belt all the time because just like wearing wraps, I think it creates a weakness. But what I do like to do, especially on my dynamic work, if you do conjugate, is to wear the belt, but wear the belt loose. That way, in order to get any support out of it, you actually have to push even harder. So a regular belt for me, I want to be able to slide four fingers in here with a relax, so I can slide four fingers in, three to four fingers, and then when they go and brace against it, I shouldn't be able to pull my fingers out. It should, I should be like mm, 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 mm. So when, when I'm having them use the belt as a cue to where to keep pushing out, I'll be able to pull the four fingers in and out whether they're braced or not. You know, it'll, I'll be able to get the four fingers in easy, and then when they brace against it. There's a little bit of tension, so it's a little hard to pull out, but I can still pull it out. Okay. Um, and that's just another cue for the bracing part. Um, and I think it is, uh, Chris did talk about, um, he actually had some really good cues in there about where you don't, like if I tighten up, I don't have great abs, but you can see my abs, you know, when I, when I kind of flex or if I'm breathing heavy. Like you don't want to see that. So if I go and see, you can still see my abs. That's no good. You can still see this here. Now there's there's still a little bit in there. I think probably because I'm tired. But um, and then you also want to you want to look for that so it's big and round and there is none of this. You don't see any of this muscle around here. So it expands like this, like a big. a big pumpkin or something um i would i sometimes i don't know if i'm able to do it because i just trained like you can see right there i'm pushing out and i'm pushing out okay here but i'm still kind of flat right here and then so you want to cue that now to get where you get that full round belly anyway chris kind of covers all that stuff all right guys i'm gonna let you go i need to go pound some food um, I just wanted to mention that because that's the thing I see so often. Like you work so hard on your brace and you work, you put in so much time in these lifts. Then I see people go heavy and they, and they let go of their brace. Remember the brace is continuing to push out. It's continuing to stretch against that belt. I tell people, one of the things I tell people is stretch the belt, stretch the belt. A reason a powerlifting belt is so thick is so that it doesn't expand. So you can push against it as hard as you want and it's not going to expand. That's why it's so thick. It's not so, oh, I have more support so I don't bend my back. That's, it's, that's not why it's designed the way it is. All right, guys. Uh, looks like my battery's going low anyway. So hope you guys have a good night. Try this. Listen to what I'm saying here and give it a shot and, and have like video yourself and see if you're staying pushed out or if you're sucking it in. All right, guys. I'm out of here. Later.